All right, all right. Welcome back to Wise Open Media. Hope you guys are doing well. Prophet John here. Okay, so we got some more controversy, as you guys have probably noticed on social media, especially Twitter. Um, we, the NFL is planning to play the song known as the Black National Anthem before all Week One games. Okay, so uh, what 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 is the uh, Black National Anthem? I think that was called the Negro Anthem, right? Because um, remember, we, we never called ourselves black. Um, that's coming from the uh, slave the slave owners and the system that calls us black. Uh, I think it was called the Negro uh, National Anthem. And this, uh, lift every voice and sing. Okay. So, and that's from R. R. Johnson and uh, James uh, Johnson uh, were the songwriters. That was song, it was song by them. So, um, yeah, so uh, some a lot of you guys remember this song. Maybe you um, heard the song when you were in middle school or elementary school or in some type of play in high school. Uh, they might have sung the song "Lift Every Voice and Sing." Um, okay, so yeah, that that is the uh, called the uh, Negro National Anthem or the Black National Anthem, whatever you want to call it. And uh, a lot of people didn't know that this even exists. Um, so they went on Twitter and they were, they were irate. They were, they thought it was just made up out of the, out of thin air. Um, and <laughs> so, uh, they didn't know people didn't know. And they showed, they, they showed that they didn't know on Twitter. Uh, a lot of, there was some, of course, there's a lot of racist people on Twitter as well, which is not really racist, right? Cause that's not really what it is. They, they switched the terms of racist, racism. That was not what that was supposed to be. It was <laughs> racist. Racism, racist is a term for uh, Europeans um, trying to find new land. It was a race. It was a race to find new land to and then use that land, uh, find new land, and then build uh, empires uh, using the, the uh, slave, uh, free slavery uh, workers, okay? Um, it wasn't had it had nothing to do with skin skin color and stuff like that. Maybe you can say maybe we can say uh, prejudice or hate or something else uh, than than uh, than racism because that's not what it really was. They switched it to skin color uh, years later. Uh, you know, I don't know how long is when they when they switched it, but they switched it for a reason. They they switched it for a reason, right? Uh, or maybe it might have been a uh, maybe something happened where it triggered and uh, people started using hey man you're a racist right uh and they said well let's go with that Let, let's go with racist or racism and let's switch it from what it was to 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 go to about you know justice and skin color and things like that right and uh, the way you treat people of, of other colors which that's not what the original term for racism was but anyways so we got people that are angry um you know um and uh, because they didn't know that this existed, this national anthem existed. So uh, they 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 showed their basically they showed their true colors on Twitter. And uh, so a lot of people were there was a lot of memes out there and things like that about about people. You know, you know they said Republican people or or, or or Caucasian people in the South or the Midwest or or in the West. You know, in those royal areas that really really. <laughs> have a hard time dealing with other race of uh, other skin colors, right? Um, so they, they were going off on Twitter, how dare the NFL boycott the NFL because of this. They didn't know that this song existed. And so I think now they now, because they're being humiliated on Twitter and people are putting a lot of memes out there and saying, hi, uh, you know, laughing at the, the, uh, the, the racist, right? Um, that didn't know that the um, Negro national anthem was already has already been existing since Civil War, <laughs> right? Or so. Um, but this is what happens all the time. People don't know their history, and that's the problem with America. America refuses to teach the correct history. Um, people now people don't know their history, so that's why they'll come out. They'll 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 be they'll be racist, right? Um, which we know that's not the true terminology, but they'll be that. They'll they'll be ignorant. They'll they'll do things because they don't know history. Okay, and they don't want to know history. All they want to know is that. 
you know, I'm better than you, or my skin color is better than you, or or everyone should bow down to the national flag or the national anthem. Everybody needs to bow down to what we say, basically, right? And uh, the, a lot of people don't care about history, okay? And so, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, I, I just think it's more separation. Um, it just brings more the, the division and separation uh, to America. And if America divides, then then we're, it's going to go under, right? Uh, and they're gonna, they're using the people to to, to bring America down, right? Um, and uh, if we divide, if America's divided, and and uh, civil war is going to happen, right? So if America's divided, then it's going to be a civil war, right? Um, and it could be a civil war because people aren't paying attention anymore. People are paying attention to skin color. And, uh, and and trying to see who's right or wrong instead of paying attention to the actual America and what's going on. And everything's a lie. Everything's a lie now in America. There's no truth in America any longer. Everything's a lie. Job numbers came out. And that was a lie. Okay, you know, 4.8 4 million new jobs. Everybody's out there saying, oh, my God, 4.8 million new jobs. No, it wasn't. It wasn't 4.8 million new jobs. They even came on and said that there was a that there was a malfunctioning. There's been a malfunctioning in the numbers, uh, incorrection in the numbers for the last several weeks. Okay, so that 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 was even stated. The numbers are incorrect. But common sense would tell you that 4.8 4 million jobs were not created. <laughs> created, okay. It, all it was it was that people went back to work and they counted that as their as a new job. I mean, we could. I mean, if we just use common sense, we we would know better. Everybody's no one's going out. Everybody's staying home. The you know the, this this virus thing is is starting to increase again, which we know is bull crap. But to to, to come out and say that four point eight million jobs were were added when one point four million jobs were uh, people one point four million people went to the unemployment line again, and uh, all it was was that. People went back to their old job, and they and they counted it as people going to a new job. So the so no, you know, and they even come out and said, "Look, we made a it's a it's a it's a mistake. It's a malfunction in the job numbers. The job numbers will be corrected, and no one cared. They all ran with the they all ran with the old 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 saying." All right, so I'm back. I had to pick up a phone call, but um, okay. So, so that's what's going on in America right now. Um, you know, the uh, the lies are everywhere. It, the lies are on television. The lies are in politics. The lies are out of the mouth of, you know, everybody. All the politicians are lying for their own agenda, for their own good. Uh, Wall Street's lying. The Feds are lying about everything. Um, this is what's going on. Wall Street is complete. Not not even close to what reality is. Um, you know, you got people out there suffering, but you know, Wall Street's going up, right? Uh, the stock market can't be stopped, but yet people are out in the streets suffering. And, um, you know, we, we're hearing that another stimulus check is coming and it's going to be a really, really big one, but it, it might not come out until like right before the elections. You know what I mean? So, this, I mean, this is what they, this is what we do. This is what, this is what America has become. It's become, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to do things to make sure that I win an election or I'm going to do things to make sure that this person doesn't win an election. It's all about voting in elections now. And they're going to, and they put their, you know, and, oh, well, I'm not going to, there's no reason to give Americans money right now that are struggling because I need to give money to Americans in September, right before the election. So they can vote for me, you know, that's the new America now. And so this, it's really terrible. Um, you know, I, I, just, I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like this a new this new America, uh, this new world order rising America. I just don't I don't like it. It's all propaganda and it's all for everyone. Everyone is for self. And it, it's terrible. Um, and I also heard about the Washington Redskins uh, looking like they might have to change their, their name. Um, OK, it looks like the stadium, the FedEx stadium says that they they want them to change the name. So uh, everything's changing. And um, some some of it, some of it's for the better. Some of it's um, for just to, you know, to re erase history. Right. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, like I said before, they're going to they're going to completely erase history regardless, because everything's on the Internet now. A lot of people don't own books. A lot of people don't own tangible things. So when the internet goes down, hist all of history is going to be erased, except for those who hold books, right? And so at, at some point, all of humanity's history will be erased. 
right? Because you know, so everybody's gonna pass away at some point, and the new the new earth will be coming down with the new Jerusalem, um, you know, and um, you know, and things will change, and and the, this won't even matter. All these things that were that were that were so angry about inside, you know, all these things. It won't even matter in a few years to a few, you know what I mean? <laughs> like it won't even like all this stuff would be would be non-existent in a few years to maybe a hundred years from now, right? Depending on when Christ returns. None of this stuff is gonna matter. The fact that we're killing people over 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 this type of stuff, the the fact that we're losing friends and family members over this type of stuff, when it's not even going to be in existence in a hundred years from now or fifty years from now, it's unbelievable to me. It's unbelievable to me. It's unbelievable how they have programmed us to care so much about things that don't even really matter in the grand scheme of things. Well, you know what I mean. Your color, your skin, and and this and that, and this and that, like the the the, the black national anthem, and people are going crazy over things that don't really matter. Bowing down to the flag, you will bow down to the flag. Like this stuff doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. There's a whole universe out there. There's a heaven. There's a you know what I mean. Like like this stuff does not matter. Like it's it's pointless, right? When we sure returns, all this is pointless. All this is a game. All of this is just to keep you busy and 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 frustrated and angry and and and, and divided. It means nothing when you sure returns, <laughs> right? And the new the new earth, the new Jerusalem. None of this will be none of it. We won't even remember none of this, okay? Because most likely, uh, you know, the father would will take all this away from our memory to even remember this bull crap, <laughs> okay? So people out here dying and, and suffering and having heart attacks over things that mean completely nothing in the grand scheme of things. Okay, so we we need to change. We need to we need to think outside the box. We need to think long term. We need to think of what the future holds for the earth when the new earth comes down and the new Jerusalem comes down. None of the stuff that we're fighting about is going to even matter. You got people out there fighting over oh over uh you know uh, who's better you know blue eye people or green eye people or brown eye. I mean this is unbelievable. I mean, you got people out there ready to go to war over blue eye, green eyes, and brown eye people because this is what has happened to America and the world because of the internet, because of social media, and these things don't mean nothing in the grand scheme of things. It's where your soul's going to be. Are you going to be with Yeshua and the Father and the Holy Spirit and the angels, or are you going to be with the devil and them in the lake of fire? Right? There's only two options. <laughs> Okay, and uh, everything else means nothing in the grand scheme of things. All right, so let's make sure we uh, we understand that and make sure that we don't fall for the the, the truth of all this bullcrap. This means nothing. Okay, it might mean something for you personally in your life, but in the grand scheme of this things, it means nothing. Right, so we have to make sure we keep that in mind. And, and don't fall for the booby traps of this world that that is temporary. All right. Um, anyways, peace out. God bless. And I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Eyes open.